Hey brothers and sisters, God bless each and every single one of you. It's Hunter's Point here with another video. I uh, wasn't planning on doing another video after the live stream earlier, but I wanted to report on an earthquake that has just happened here in the States within the past couple of hours. Uh, this is off of endtimeheadlines.org. California has reportedly been shaken up by a strong magnitude 6.0 earthquake. It was actually downgraded um, further than that, as we'll get into. Uh, apparently, this earthquake has struck near the Lone Pine area, according to Express. According to the report, local residents received an emergency alert on their phones, which read as follows. Earthquake, expect shaking, drop, cover, hold on, protect yourself now, a USGS shake alert. Unquote. The USGS stated that the quake struck around 17 kilometers south-southeast of Lone Pine, California. The quake was reported to have originated at a depth of 2.9 kilometers, with an epicenter around 17 kilometers southeast of Lone Pine. The earthquake was reportedly felt in the Death Valley National Park. Since the initial quake, the USGS has downgraded the earthquake to a magnitude of 5.8, so still a relatively strong earthquake in uh, Southern California. Seismologist uh, Lucy Jones has went to Twitter and has stated as following, We don't know if an even bigger quake could be coming. Like every quake, there is a 5% chance of something bigger, unquote. A local affiliate news anchor for Fox 26 also reported feeling the earthquake from his uh, Fresno newsroom. Sharing a video of the studio's light swing, Michael Akahihifo, I hope I pronounced that all right, he tweeted the following, We just felt a little shake in our newsroom. Did anyone else feel that? Others reported that they did, in fact, feel the quake. They felt it even in Sacramento. Another person said they had felt it in Pasadena. On the USGS's webpage, Did You Feel It?, almost 9,000 responses were recorded in just 45 minutes. People as far away as the Bay Area, uh, San Luis Obispo, Obispo, I hope I pronounced that all right too, and Lake Tahoe were sending in reports of feeling the impact of the quake. This quake comes only a day after a powerful 7.4 magnitude earthquake rocked Mexico near the resort of Huatulco, killing at least six people, dam damaging hundreds of homes, and injuring two people in Mexico City, more than 300 miles away from the epicenter. We are definitely seeing um, you know, the, the continuation of famines, widespread famine, drought, pestilences, but we're also seeing a continuation of earthquakes in diverse places. We're seeing the birth pangs increase in both intensity and frequency, right? A pregnant woman will experience contractions that increase in both intensity and frequency until the baby's delivered. Well, likewise, these signs, as depicted in Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, will increase in both intensity and frequency until our bridegroom redeems us, and then it'll continue even further into the tribulation period. Um, so we're, we're seeing a lot happen, right? We're, we're seeing many, many signs and earthquakes are just one of the many signs that we are witnessing. Not even on just a daily basis, but almost an hourly basis at this point. So uh, I just wanted to come on here and report just that brief little earthquake that happened in California just a few hours ago. Relatively strong in terms of magnitude, 5.8. Was initially reported as a 6.0, but it was downgraded to 5.8. So I'll give the Gospels 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's that Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of your sins, past, present, and future. He was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures, right? That is the gospel, the good news, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 in a nutshell. Jesus Christ shed his precious blood for the remission of all mankind's sin, past, present, future, that whoever believes in him will have eternal life. Right. This ties in with John 3.16, which says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There's no amount of good works that we can do to earn our way into the kingdom of heaven. Right? Heaven cannot be earned. It cannot be bought. It cannot be worked towards. All right? Heaven comes with salvation. And salvation is a one-time event, a free gift given to those who believe on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ in their hearts alone. That's what it's about, right? Belief is the foundation of salvation. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace are you saved, 
through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 4.30 says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Right? You can never lose your salvation. The nanosecond you believe the gospel in your heart, not only are you saved, but you are indwelled with the Holy Spirit. Right, and you are sealed, you are eternally secure in Christ Jesus, the nanosecond you believe. I want to read John chapter 10, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go there right now, John 10, verse 27 through 30, one of my favorite you know passages in all of scripture to read. John 10, 27 through 30. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Once again, this passage in John 10, 27 through 30, just like Ephesians 4, 30 and Ephesians 1, 13 to 14, and passages throughout Romans 8, this proves eternal security. You can never lose your salvation. You are saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption, the nanosecond you believe the gospel alone in your heart for salvation and eternal security. Once again, the gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. You believe that in your heart, you are instantaneously saved and sealed right now. All right? So I will leave you with that. I will see you in the next video, should the Lord tarry. Otherwise, God bless you all.